turn him out. As far as where the governor's at, who in the world knows where he's at, but at least it looks like he'd come out and clarify his position of where he's at and, and tell people, what in the world are you, you, you even out messing around with Joe McPherson? Because if there is something in our state we don't need 15 more years of is Joe McPherson. Well, not only that, I, I just think the combination of uh, McPherson, Foster Campbell's already there. We already saw what they did in Rob Marino running the thing. You got a combination that's deadly, that's been deadly to the state of Louisiana for, for the last 15, 20 years. It's been deadly in our reputation. These guys are, the, these are big government guys that are not, uh, you know, not going to smile on the state of Louisiana in good government. It's a very, it's a very, my, my election is a very, very important uh, election because of just what you're talking about. It's a pivotal vote. It's one that's going to decide to me as good accomplished or as evil accomplished. And uh, I hope that people that really are concerned about the future of our state, uh, it would be easy for me to stay home and be a nurseman. I make more money doing that. It, it costs me money when I run for politics. I'm a, a terrible fundraiser because I don't make commitments and promises. So when you do that, you just get the good people to give. So, uh, you know, I just hope uh, people realize how important the election is Saturday and they'll get out and vote. I, I hate to put you on the spot, but I am, Mr. Clark, because I'm not. You've always been a guy to say what you feel. You mentioned the governor. It, it, do you know if the governor's been in the first corner in this? I mean, why didn't he come out and support you? I mean, he's the head of the Republican Party. He's the main guy. He's the main fundraiser. They're talking about him as a potential presidential candidate. I mean, does it disturb you what you're hearing, or, or are you not hearing this? And then when I heard the whip, did you hear? What I hear, what I hear is supporting in Baton Rouge. It looks like the other guy's going to win. It don't bother me too much. But, uh, you know, it, it's not where he should be. And, and you know, for his future... Uh, with conservatives in this state, I just can't imagine what he thinks he's going to accomplish. Now, we're going to try not to let Charlie DeWitt win or have his first, but, you know, it, the, it, the odds are against us when you speak of it. So I do wish the governor would come out. I don't believe he's supporting Joe McPherson. I, I don't believe that it makes sense for him to do it, but at least come out and clarify what your position is. Yeah, that, and, that, and by the way, that helps everybody. It, it helps everybody know, hey, the governor's... Staying out, and here's why. That's right. Yeah, I mean, you can live with that. Sure, and I don't have a problem with him staying out because the opening act has changed parties. Uh, you know, and there's two Republicans. I've never pushed, if it was against Robert Barham and Lee Fletcher, I never pushed for the endorsement because I just believe we all have that right to run. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it would be awfully good if he'd just come out and say, look, I'm not supporting anybody. Uh, I'd like to see a conservative like Clyde Holloway win the race. I don't care if he says that. Just say I'm not supporting anyone. I'm out of the race. Well, it, 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 all this is out there, and it's it's very troubling to me, especially if you're supposed to be ahead of the party, and it's one of my frustrations with it. Is it Clarence Scott, you've been around a lot longer than me. I think parties are set up. They're partisan by nature. It's not ugly to say uh, you don't have to work together when you're talking about bills and legislative stuff, but they're really partisan by nature. When somebody says, well, they need to be nonpartisan, not in that position if you're elected official and you're the top dog. Oh, no, we... We argue and we, we disagree because we just feel different on issues. That's so correct. Why should I buddy up with someone who believes that we should kill babies? Or why should I buddy up with someone who believes that our budget should just keep growing like crazy? Why shouldn't we cut state officials? There's a lot of reasons why you disagree. Uh, so what is wrong with disagreeing? That's why we elected him because we thought he agreed with most of the people in Louisiana. So get out there and let people know what you truly feel and where you're at. Well, now the race is Saturday. I just want to let people know, explain the district to us, to let people know, because some people may be listening and don't even have an idea that they're supposed to be voting this weekend. Well, we're in three areas that you're on. We're in the Lake Charles. We get all of southwest Louisiana.